I really feel like this was supposed to be on the top. Hello! Many a uh, frequent viewer may be aware of a series that I do occasionally called Dave Crate. And I believe this would count as the third Dave Crate. I think. To be honest, the company was very, very reluctant to explain if, I, if this would count as a sponsorship or not. They just started sending me more crates. And they were very insistent that I need to record an unboxing. As usual, disclaimer, I have no idea what I am opening. Dave Crate says and sends anything from old anime memorabilia to dollar store crap tat to everything in between. And I have absolutely zero control, or in some cases, I've given like zero permission for this stuff to show up at my doorstep. The only thing I know about this beforehand is that it was addressed to the wrong person. It was sent directly from an import shop on Amazon, which could mean anything, really. So I'm going to open it now, closing my eyes until I have fully exposed the cover. And it's a uh, dark magician girl figure, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure why they sent why they would send this over, but I guess they have like 40,000 of these things in a warehouse somewhere that they're ostensibly sending. If this was a real company, not just something I made up on the spot to explain why my friend keeps sending me random packages that I don't care about. Magical cute figure, huh? See, that's the one thing I really like about import shops is that they usually do a good job of packing. Let me show you what happens when you don't pack things correctly. You get this, where the case has been completely shattered. Or worse, this, where the disc is actually in two pieces. You can see a little crack there. There's more extra pieces that keep coming off the keep case. By the way, that counts as a spoiler of the upcoming PS2 potpourri stream. Or would have been if I didn't have like annoying setbacks like that. Plus, I think one of those games is an iToy game, so I'll have to like get a compatible camera. I've ordered import games where like there was a piece of bubble wrap on literally every point where there was air where something could be compressed. Like there was bubble wrap in between the manual and the game disc. Multiple pieces. I wonder what the theme of this month's crate is, cause like, I don't know, card games? You know what, yeah, I'll see, you know what? That's the theme of this month, card games. Oh, hello, slightly weathered edges. I'm pretty sure that's considered at, at most a C rank now on uh, Ami Ami. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The standard for Japanese collectors is ridiculous. Okay, this is actually open. There's a bunch of warnings that don't really make sense to me. And there's perforations on the box for some reason. And inside we get the heck? Is this, a, is this like a used thing that they repack? I can't imagine this was the original quality. Yeah, it kind of smells like a used figure. There's a very specific smell with certain figures where it's like, you can tell that it's that the plastic is starting to rot. Also, the you can see like part of the foot's coming off. Is this like one of those leg assembly required figures? So, first problem, the leg has fallen off. That hand looks a little weird though. I already have a DMG figure. Also, this this pose is so poorly thought out. There's you need so many stabilizers that don't come. I can't get this. Holy crap, this is actually broken. Like you can see residue. Hello, there's a base in here. Um, unfortunately, the base is not going to be particularly useful if the actual figure has a broken leg. I'm gonna have to find like glue or something. So it came with this accessory. Does it fit? No, the accessory does not fit at all. Okay, that's better. You know, maybe this was like a return and someone decided to like just resell it online. I can at least show off the base. Good news, everyone. My figure of a dark magician girl's boot has arrived. After filming the unboxing of this crate, I was informed by the company that the incorrect crate had been shipped to me. A replacement crate arrived two weeks later. So, to uh, go over the rules of Dave Crate, 
I receive a supposedly themed crate of various uh, merchandise of varying quality. And in these videos, I am to open them up, inspect the contents. If there is food, I must taste it. And I've also been told I must also wear it. I'm actually kind of dreading what kind of ridiculous nonsense they've got in here. If it's like completely de degrading, then I don't think I'm gonna comply with those rules. The company has never let me down before. Four. Not at all. Dave Crate has always been a family-friendly, monetizable entertainment experience. A frozen sticker book. This isn't even like the, the latest like Disney thing that they're pushing. I mean there's like 40 different things they're pushing, but like like Frozen was how did you even they still make frozen merchandise? Reward stickers. Huh. Oh, oh, I see. This is like the stuff that you stick on kids' tests going out along with the Disney theme. We have temporary tattoos of basically most major marketable MCU properties. Pretty sure Thor never really had that helmet in any of the movies. Avengers fidget spinners. Okay. Oh, so it's going to be one of those crates. Yeah, like I seem to remember freaking gas stations in Idaho had them. And I was just like, I can't get away from these things. We, this is a fidget spinner that I've had for about a year, which I got at like a really shit tech conference. And they were just like giving out fidget spinners in exchange for like email signups. Almost worth it. I want to say eh, they're about the same in terms of quality. This one is obviously like more ornate and elaborate, but like the actual spinning and ball bearings and stuff is pretty well done. The heck are these? Mashems? Oh, I think I've seen these at like a friggin' toy store. The toy store that I put into bankruptcy because I was spending all the time punching out uh, Frozen merchandise. I am not getting under this and I'm risking hurting myself. At least if I hurt myself, can I get it on camera? Alright, and so in our Mashems we get more plastic trash. Flip. Tech for kids. For a second I could have sworn this was actually manufactured by people who make shit anime dubs. The, is this Catwoman, I guess? Too familiar with Batman mythos? Oh man, that is like the heck is with that paint job. You squish it even a little bit and there's just like gray all over her face. Unsquish, it's perfectly fine. And then of course you have uh, Harlequin, or Harley Quinn, the character that was from a spinoff but was popular enough to actually just wind up in the actual comics. And this one doesn't squeeze. So is the point of the toy that it squeezes or the point of the toy is that it's just a bunch of cheap rubber molded plastic? It's apparently one of those like Christian action figures that I hear about. Complete with Bible verses that you need to <laughs> that you need to freaking research. Do they seriously only do four of these? I'm pretty sure there's more than four people in the Bible. Isn't it like friggin' hundreds of like years of Semitic history or something like that? All right, did I say action figure? Because this is not an action figure. This is just a figure. There's no action. Oh, I mean, this is a nice treat and all, but like, I've had Pocky before, you guys. Apparently ran 259. I'm pretty sure you can get this stuff at Walmart. I'm only gonna have one because I'm trying to stay on a diet. Yep, just as good as I remember. There's a bottle of grape flavored, whatever this is, flavored water beverage. I don't know how I can show myself drinking this on camera, but. It doesn't even taste like grape. Like, oh, okay, there's a very slight hint of grape. This is just, okay, so you know those little freak packets of like, I wanna say they're like soda syrup. They're like, just like the Mio, or you can get like the Walmart Target equivalents. You can squirt them into like a bottle of water, shake them up a bit, and you get flavored water. This is like that, except prepared by someone who barely taps on the thing and has like, adds like one drop of fluid and it tastes like nothing but water. Roblox. 
thing. You know, it's kind of funny. I never really got into Roblox. Like, I was big into, let's see, back in high school, I used to troll Second Life a lot. When Minecraft came out, I played that for like literally years. Roblox never really, I, I, I never even touched it. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. These are just Lego mini things, but kind of terrible. Well, this definitely looks like Roblox and basically crap knock off Lego minifigs, but bigger, I guess. You know, I've got some cousins that like Roblox. I should give this to them. At least I would if I could actually assemble the thing with a darn. I'll worry about that later. Also, for those wondering, there's an exclusive item and something else telling you to buy more. My Little Pony blind box. Oh, oh, sorry. This isn't My Little Pony. It's Power Ponies. Totally different, you guys. These are your options for totally not My Little Pony. And wait, wait a second. This is, this is, wait, is this, this is totally freaking, oh, hello. This actually is My Little Pony spin-off merch. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not a Spider-Man fidget spinner. That's a Spider-Man yo-yo. The fidget spinner of the 90s. I don't know how to yo-yo worth a damn for being a freaking Ness main. Teen Titans go- oh, well, what the- it's an actual freaking- is this freaking Scooby-Doo? But what, Shaggy is like a grizzled 40-year-old man shooting at zombies. Oh, please don't tell me they turned Secret Squirrel into like some edgy hardcore- more Dragon Ball Super Car- So they have this elaborate cardboard pack outside to store a standard booster inside that I can't open anyway. This is a, a single booster, dang, this is... Usually boosters are like 9 or 10 per pack, but you've got whatever this is. Whatever this guy is, Donic Warrior... I don't even... So I would like to know any if anyone actually plays this game, either casually or competitively. And it is... Oh boy! The freaking Yokai Watch watch. Also, watch does not tell time. That, you know what? Screw it. This is this is garbage. And the app is already possibly gone. Ninja! Flips down walls. Because it has... Oh, is this like... They have like sticky... So which one is Naruto and which one is Sasuke? It's so sticky that I have zero confidence in the, the ability of these things to last more than five minutes. Marvel... Get what? Marvel Gamer Use Verse. Oh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay. Okay, so Mega Man here. Technically articulated, but it's like really dumb kind of articulation. Like there's a joint here and there. Yeah, good luck standing him up and getting him to do anything. We have noted alcoholic and Elon Musk sympathizer, Tony Stark. I want to say the joints in this are a little bit better. The uh, torso joint here is... Ugh. These are at least consistent in the amount of force that you have to use. Does it stand? Nope. So those are going to be damn near impossible to display. To be honest, you need to have a very high IQ to understand pine side zeros. Who are you even? What is this freaking... So, I guess the point of Pint Size Heroes is that it's the same kind of badly implemented chibi style of pops, but smaller and more expensive. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh look, it's Rainbow Dash. Woo. And her eyes are messed up. And this sculpt freaking sucks. Um, yeah, Power Rangers is still an ongoing concern because, hey, they still have a shit ton of Super Sentai series that they keep coming out in Japan everywhere, every year that they can just Americanize. It's, it's got like a freaking, uh, is that like a dragon? I'm gonna just say that's Dragon Gun. Because the theme of this Power Rangers series, Super Ninja Steel, okay. Lenticular pen. Wait, does that just mean it's a regular pen, but there's like freaking Wonder Woman? That's literally it. I feel it, but I don't see it. Oh wait, no, I can't use that meme anymore because he changed his hat to say never give up rather than you can't see me. It's not bad sculpt. Let's see, articulation is hip joints and arm joints and can punch baddies. Is that everything? Dave Crate Magazine. 
I really feel like this was supposed to be on the top. Two exclusive medals included for some reason. The heck are you kidding? Okay. How am I supposed- ah! How am I even supposed to get this? Oh, zip ties too. These aren't even zip ties. What the? This is like something cheaper than zip ties. It's like individual strings of just yarn that are being used to keep the product in place and unstolen. My goodness, some parent is actually gonna buy this crap for their kids and then give themselves like pain trying to open it. So like, how exactly does this work? No idea what I am doing. Jibanyan! Oh god, it talks. Jibanyan! Multiple times. Quick, make it say something so silly. Jibanyan! And um, uh, whatever this thing is. Oh, by the way, that's how it works, just with a bunch of bumps so it knows what sound effect to use. Oh, and there's a QR code if you want to cheap and cheat at the mobile app and... Alright. Come on, come on! Anyway... So, let's talk about the actual content of the box. On the shit end of the scale, we have my least favorite thing ever, Funko Pops. These things clutter up every store that sells collectibles. I don't- I know like nobody who actually collects these things. The- the sculpt isn't very good, it's just bleh. There are much better options for figures. These things, eh, it's a gimmick at best. I know, maybe your kids will get five minutes of usage out of it. Dragon Ball Z cards, I have... Who the heck plays the Dragon Ball Super card game? When was that even a thing? This is basically just Pop Final, but smaller, so it goes in the Pop Final category. This is an actually decent and interesting looking figure. I mean, I'm not really into My Little Pony, but... Yeah, this is just dollar store trash, really. <laughs> you know what, let's find out. Is this an actually working pen? I wasn't gonna review a pen, but... Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, hello, the pen cap came off. There we go. Okay, I sort of works. For whatever reason, they decided, hey, let's make a pen and uh, just cover it in a uh, plastic gunk that isn't gonna really show up. Actually, this should also go in the crap bin. Hey. I mean, this is just a yo-yo. It's a yo-yo. This is just a hilariously bad paint job. Is, is that ear or hair? I can't tell. It's like a simultaneous combination of ear hair flesh. Let's see, Roblox blocks figure. Again, have no connection to Roblox whatsoever. Oh, and uh, I was never able to get the uh, leg joints to go in properly. So that's a heavy ding against it. You can't fully assemble it. And his name is John Cena. Yes. It is a meme. It's actually one of the better <laughs> action figures in this pack. This Scooby Doo comic, which I really haven't had a chance to read. But apparently it involves Scrappy Doo. Scra what? Why is Scrappy Doo edgy? What? Who? Why? This is issue 27. This thing actually sells. I never demonstrated the sticker packs. I mean, they're stickers, but I suppose there was worse stuff in this pack. I suppose I should pick a favorite item. <laughs> you know what? The favorite item was the Pocky, even though I already ate all of it. So yeah, that was a uh, Dave Crate 3. 
ostensibly hero-themed. I mean, are we really considering Elsa and Anna heroes now? 